Well, picture this. It's April 1865. The Civil War is over, and throughout the South, slaves are being freed. Soldiers are returning home. And in Jewish homes, Passover is being celebrated. Confederate officer Caleb DeLeon comes home from the battlefield to Richmond, Virginia, to find his family home in ruins and abandoned, except for two former slaves. That's the scene for the new production. Here with a preview of The Whipping Man, we welcome director Roxana Lewis. Good morning. Good morning. The Civil War continues to fascinate, but this is sort of an aspect, a, a story that might not have been told very often, mm-hmm. how it affected Southern Jews. Mm-hmm. Fascinating. It is. The writer Matthew Lopez has taken us to um, a chapter of history. It's a slice of Americana that uh, not many of us have really ever even heard of before, and it's something that's not taught in most American history books. We can find uh, names of individuals who have participated in government and military ranks on both sides, uh, but they are not necessarily um, recognized as also being Jewish. And the irony of Jews owning slaves Mm -hmm. is certainly a big part of this piece. Can you explain the uh, central tension in that? Sure. Well, this piece has an incredibly rich spiritual metaphor. Um, The Seder is a beautiful celebration where the story of the Israelites being freed um, from slavery in Egypt is retold. And... Of course, this is an incredible metaphor with the Emancipation Proclamation and what blacks were experiencing at the end of the Civil War and uh, transitioning into a new world, a new life. 